So we are at the Landvetter Airport, heading over to London. That's actually the plane that we're going with. So it's going to be a really eventful week with us hacking Uber, and um, there's going to be a lot of good hackers flying in. So when you're traveling over to, to London, you realize you're on the cover. There, my magazine. Well, we made it to the Heathrow Airport. Currently, we're waiting for Matthias to arrive. He's just a few minutes out. Then we're gonna get in an Uber and um, get over to the hotel. So we need to find our hotel now. Where is it at? Either that way or that way. Either that way. Yeah. Uh, I don't have a point to pick. I guess she knows where it could be. Hi, Tiffany. Hey, how are you? You know where the place is? Yeah, you're right next to it. Oh, there it is. Hi, it's so lovely to see you all. Hey. Uh, you would like to check in? Yeah. Oh, so the plan for today is first off, we need to get some breakfast. We, when we arrived yesterday, uh, more and more people were just coming in and we ended up sitting in the bar. Today the schedule says at 4 p.m. we're supposed to be at the InfoSec welcoming in at Laymares. That's gonna be fun. But before that happens, we, uh, we need to get some coffee in this body and uh, some really nice avocado toast, preferably. So let's go out. Pew pew. Next stop. Now, morning hackers. How are you guys doing? Good, how are you? I'm very, very good. Have you guys had breakfast yet? Is it any good? It's very good. Mmm, really, really low. Nice. <laughs> so, what's next? We had a great breakfast, but now we're gonna head over to the tower. London. So a huge fire destroyed the tower's grand storehouse in 1840. Not much of a history buff, but these kind of buildings are real cool. And the whole idea that this has been defended for centuries more or less by people like these guys here. This tower, this fortress is so heavily guarded that it's only been a attacked a couple of times. Still that goes into building these kind of houses or castles. So I used to ask on Twitter if we should uh, get Fisher to teach us how to run the authorize and auto repeater plugins for Burp. So we just had lunch, which was pretty fucking amazing. And Tiffany, how's the event going so far? Oh, well, it's just begun. So amazing. I've had a lot of hackers talk to me about early findings. Yeah. It's very exciting. Cool. What can a hacker expect when they go to these kind of happy hour meetups? Ah, so lately we've been doing this interesting thing where our happy hour is mixed with a conference event. Yep. We're going to be meeting other folks from InfoSect. It's just more about camaraderie, really having a chance to communicate closely with other hackers in a low pressure area and giving yourself the opportunity to start creating these moments of collaboration. Yeah. Hey, friend, I found this cool thing. Cool. And they can help you expand on it. So if you're a hacker and you are in the vicinity nearby an event and you see these kind of hacker meetup, don't be a stranger, get there. All of us are usually there and you can meet new friends. It's amazing. You should go. So I've been talking with Ryan Narrator about, you know, how to approach a target at a live hacking event. Because what happens to us is that we find a couple of bugs and then we reach this kind of null state where we, we get stuck. And what's your motivation to get that ongoing again? Well, it's really nice once you finally get to the events because you talk to all the people around you and you, you hear about, about bugs and you're like, man, I didn't find that. that. That gives you a little extra motivation because it's like, you know there's a bug there, you uh -huh. just haven't found it yet. I was just telling the team, you know, when we get back to the hotel after a night of grabbing some drinks here, I'm gonna take an extra pass on both of the new InScope applications, just sort of with everyone around me for one, yep. and uh, and sort of some new perspective and motivation for finding the bugs. Taking a pass for me sort of look, looks like walking through the application, uh -huh. monitoring all those requests, performing standard auditing, you know, changing around values, trying to inject uh, values that 
that shouldn't be there, okay. as well as parsing JavaScript files to try to uncover endpoints that were previously there. You know, it's really easy to, to get tunnel vision one night and focus on like one part of a JavaScript file or something like that, and you go back and later and you find, hey man, I missed this whole portion of it. It's really nice to take multiple passes when you're really going hard at a target. How do you take your notes? I use burp repeater tabs pretty heavily and, <laughs> and the uh and you document in history yeah well i i do and i also <laughs> document in titling those burp repeater tab i use the front and back functions on on burp repeater tabs a good mm -hmm. bit because you know you can go back on requests that you've submitted and that oh, sort yeah. of thing so i'll be like what was my train of thought here as i was trying to exploit a certain endpoint to be honest i really should take better notes uh, i just sort of download the files and then do everything within burp love it thank you we arrive at the event, and the first thing that you get when you get here is to get your badge. And your badge has a name on it. And that is kind of your ticket throughout the event. It took me about one second to rip this one. <laughs> but we're gonna fix it with a little bit of take magic. And we're gonna be in here. This is where all the hacking is gonna be. And uh, this is one of the main rooms, which are so cool, so yeah. Woo, we're gonna have a good day. Check out this selection of epic swag. There's everything from these really nice sweatshirts to t-shirts and what I love about these event swags is they are one of a kind. This is something that's just been produced for this event so it's something that you will just have right now. And of course the challenge coins. We got the stickers and yeah it's gonna be really really cool to be here today. Oh that's perfect. You guys got silver? You got silver. So we're gonna go downstairs. This is the tour by Luke Tucker. So we have our, uh, our docent here, Mr. Uh, George Webb. Congratulations. Nice. Your little uh, cheat sheet, if you get lost. Yep. Oh. <laughs> Check this guy out. Ooh, check this out. So this is gonna be kind of pods for hacking, team-based, however, quiet room as well, but food's gonna be here. Uh, War room's gonna be there, so mostly off limits for you guys. It's always that with the war room. You never get into the war room. We always have to try again. Yeah, always have to try to get into the war room. Lounge area. Oh, yes. All of this is us. You can do whatever you want here. Ooh. Ram sexy is pretty good. Pool. Or, uh, foosball. Bar. Open at four. You just lounge <laughs> here. It's all yours. And then right behind us there, that room, um, you can uh, go in there as well. Cool. Make yourself at home. If you need anything. Let us know. The ceremony is on its way and we are all getting ready to be a part of this Hakuan 4, 420. So it's still raining bounties and people are happily getting paid. Um, I still haven't been paid for my bugs, but eventually, hopefully, I will be. But the guys over here fucking smashing it. This is, this is the best thing ever. Qualitative and a quantitative, we have a conversation between the customer, in this case our wonderful friends at Uber, the HackerOne team, our triage staff, technical program managers, people involved, who has brought the best value to the event for this particular event, including the collaboration, the community investments, the impact of the reports, the value that they provided to the community overall. So with that, I am very, very excited to recognize an incredible hacker to show and tell us tonight. <laughs> So, uh, show and tell is over. Having a breath of air before we're gonna get a bus that takes us over to the shuffleboard place. 
so far it's been freaking amazing. You know, the level of that show and tell produces is insane. And and to be able to see Tom, you know, the expression when he goes on stage and shares what whatever he you know, the box that he presented is mind-blowing. I'm so, so excited for it. Go NBH, go BBAC. And also a big shout out to Franz Rosen for, for finding the SSR. It was pretty amazing the way he supplied the chain throughout the whole bug process. So Franz always finds something in his bags, right? But yeah, like, for sure. But like, Inti, every single time he comes up with these troll bangers, stupid Inti, always coming up with this crazy <laughs> shit. That's what it does. talk about you, though you got a shit bug. <laughs> that, that, that's the way it is. That's what he does. It he is, is, that's is what he does. And he's so the creative bad. genius when it comes to I this know, kind of stuff. 9,000 IQ. Oh, oh, first over event. Right. Is, is, it, is it your good. first event? Yeah. yeah. Pretty yeah. sweet. How was your experience so far? Really good, yeah. Absolutely amazing. <laughs> and then we turn up here, yeah. and that's Fanatic's house. Sorry for the box. <laughs> yeah. Sorry for the box. Yeah. And that's where Bounty's gonna take you in a way, you know. Oh, this, yeah, this, no, this, I this. recently got into Infosec actually, and like literally, this guy's been saying to me basically every day, like since I joined Infosec, he's like, and this is Infosec, welcome to Infosec. Yeah, yeah, every day is just insane. Yeah. It's, it's and it never crazy. stops. Yeah. And we need more people like yourself, so uh, do you have any. Uh, so no, I appreciate that. And, and seriously, do you have any words that would motivate other people to get into our industry and doing the things that we do? Not, it's, uh, this doesn't only apply for info's sake, but if you're curious for something, follow it, pursue it, don't listen to what people are saying about you need to make your money, you need to do this, there's no point in making your money if you're not enjoying it. Follow your curiosity, pursue what you want to do. It's worth it, trust me. So it's all about passion in the end. Exactly, it is all about passion. <laughs> I can love it, man. So it's day after the live event and we're on the bus heading over to... Uh, where are we going? We're going on a boat tour. <laughs> and most of us are quite tired at the moment. You know, it, it takes a lot of resources to, to pull off these live hacking events. You, you invest so much energy into it. And in days like this, when we get a rest day, I feel like resting. <laughs> How's it going, man? What are you going to do? About to pay Franz Rosen $50,000 and a penny. On your phone. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> That's insane. So we're standing here down by the docks and we're gonna get on the boat in a little while. It's gonna be fun. <laughs> we got on the boat now and it's gonna head out and we're gonna ride along the river, have a little bit of dinner and a real good time. Wine is being served, talks are going on. Today it's all about recouping and uh, talking shop. Yeah, what, would, what do we have here? Yes, on City Cruises we have one token for non-alcoholic beverages and two tokens for alcoholic beverages. Everyone will get four tokens on the trip. Woohoo! So we get tokens! Woo! We got tokens! Tokens! Okay. Yo. How did the event go? Yeah, pretty good, man. Um, found, found some bugs. Cool. Lots of dupes still. I heard there's a... It was like a dupe fest. What, yeah. what was up with that? Yeah, there were like uh, 200 dupes or something. 200 dupes? Yeah. Next dupe rich is it's kind of weird Chelsea. how you can see the greens over there. That's the amount of where the water normally is. These boats are just resting here. It's a kite and a helicopter. Sick.